Welcome. Today we have Cheryl Becker and she is going to talk to us about some things that sometimes moms don't want to talk about or have to deal with, right? So Cheryl, welcome. And why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about you? Yeah, so I, I am a mom of five. I have four boys and one girl. Awesome. And so, yeah, it's a busy household. So I, I grew up with wearing dresses and eventually sewing my own dresses. And so um, that is a very big part of, yeah, of my life. And, and so I started this little pattern shop with selling dress, dress patterns. And then through that, um, talking to customers and things like that, then it, it, um, it kind of evolved into including homemaking because in the end, if homemaking isn't really in order or if it's a struggle, then getting to sewing, sewing anything really is a struggle because everything else is kind of, yeah, up in the air and not yeah. in order, right? Chaotic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And for any like creative space you want, as a mom, you want to have, if, yeah, it's sometimes difficult. I actually, I have five daughters and okay. um, yeah, so I, I grew up sewing. My, my grandmother was a professional seamstress and she taught me how to sew. And so I have sewn a lot for my girls and it's, it's hard to, I mean, you can't just do a five minute thing usually for sewing. Mm -hmm. you, you need a little more time to accomplish yeah. something. That's right. Um, yeah. So uh, as you said, it involved in you talking about keeping the house tidy. So what well, where, where did you, you, did your mom teach you how to sew or who taught you how to sew? Yeah. Um, I really had an interest in it. So she would kind of just let me get, just do, do stuff. Yeah. Right. Um, then eventually through the school that, that, um, I was going to, then they did a sewing class specifically sewing dresses. Okay. So that's where I learned kind of more of the how to's really. Okay. Yeah. And what, um, if someone wants to sew, but they can't find the time because of kids running around or what are all these obligations they have, what is your first suggestion for them? Yeah. So my first suggestion is, so kind of the main, um, the main struggles, I guess, are like cooking and yeah. cleaning and doing laundry. That's kind of the three basics. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, my message to them is to is to like get a meal plan, a simple meal plan, not make it, you know, a month long or anything and get some routines like for the day, like just some basic cleanup and, you know, maybe sweeping or vacuuming some of those basic things and then get on a little bit of a laundry schedule so that, you know, eventually it can just be um, just be a little bit of a system so they can stay on top of it. Yeah. So how yeah. old are your kids? My oldest is 14 and the youngest okay. is six. Okay. So in our household, we have um, a chore chart. <laughs> so er, all the kids, we they decided they want to rotate it weekly. We do that. And that's helpful. And I, I started my kids when they were just itty bitties, like mm -hmm. doing what they, I mean, they didn't have chore chart for them, but um, you know, just helping unload the silverware and the dishwasher or something just to help have them a part of taking care of the messes that they, they make, right? Do you find yeah. that as well that to involve your kids? Yes, definitely. Yeah, we, we have, um, yeah, we have kind of a system there too with the, the um, each child has their kind of their set jobs like one, one of them will empty the dishwasher. I mean, that's all, that's all they do. As far as the dishes goes, they empty the dishwasher. Another child fills it. Another child clears the table and sweeps the floor and stuff. And yeah, so they're, they're all involved in, in some of those daily tasks too. Yeah. I find that yeah. very helpful. Yeah. There's no way to, as a mom to just do it all. I mean, oh. especially when you have multiples, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> So, 
And then with meal planning, what what suggestions with keeping it simple and what else suggestions for someone who's never done meal, meal planning before? Yeah, so what I do is I just do a week at a time and basically just Monday to Friday because usually weekends are who knows what, yeah. <laughs> at least in our house. Um, you know, we might sleep in on the weekends and stuff. So meals are a little bit more up in the air. So Monday to Friday, and then I just encourage them to plan like one meal a day. Like, so whatever your main meal is of the day. And then, um, so for us, it's supper time. I just plan suppers. Okay. And then I just plan the meat part of that of supper. And so, um, that I know like what meat to, you know, get thawed throughout the day or whatever. And then generally like the side dishes, they're a little bit easier to just fill, fill those in because, you know, certain side dishes go with certain meat types. Right. So to, to me, it's like, at least I know what type of meat I'm going to cook. And then I can add the other stuff in later. And then that takes way less time to plan it out. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard, I've had some friends who do like taco Tuesday or, you know, they have certain themes on certain days. Do you do that? Does that help you when you're planning or you just, how do you decide what to, to pick? Uh, well, okay. So Wednesday, this is the only day that we actually have more of a planned, like every Wednesday is breakfast for supper. Okay. So I'll make pancakes or I'll make waffles or something like that for supper. And then yeah, that's basically the only day that that we would have kind of the same thing every Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Your your kids help you with the cooking or the planning part? Um, once in a while they might help a little with planning. For sure, like the the breakfast supper is usually <laughs> that one is is always looked forward to the most. And so they will say, you know, we haven't had this for a long time or whatever. But yeah, generally I'll just plan it out. Yeah. And then as far as, as, um, being involved with cooking, they sometimes, but it's not, not all the time. If they're interested, I'll let them do some things, but yeah. Yeah. That's good. And then what other use and then laundry, the big one, that's another big, I guess they're all kind of <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> big, right. I encourage to do like, um, one or two loads of laundry every day. I mean, it depends what size of a family you have, right? Like I, I still have for sure two or sometimes three loads a day with yeah. just doing it every, doing some every day, right? So yeah, just to get, even if it isn't every day, but just to get on a schedule so that you can kind of stay on top of it. Yeah, I have, well, three of my girls are gone uh, off to college and it seems like we still have quite a bit of laundry. I mean, I guess, and it also depends on the seasons of how much they're outside, you know, they need to clean or whatever. And yeah, and I've let my, I don't know that I had a certain age that like, okay, they're gonna start doing laundry now. I think they just, it kind of evolved with the oldest starting and then the others, but yeah, they all just, my youngest is 14, so they all can just do their own, they have their own laundry to do. And then mm -hmm. um, they'll even just do like the towels for everybody or whatever. They'll just do them when they need to or whatever. So that's, that's nice. That it's just all, not all me. Yeah. And, and then if there's a, a basket of clean clothes, I'll just, will you, you know, mm -hmm. hold these and put them away. So yeah, and they, they love that. It's like their favorite thing. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just kidding. Well, yeah, like when um like several years back, one of my friends said that she had her her kids all folded their own laundry. Mm -hmm. So she would she would wash it all, but they would all fold it. And at that time in my life, it was just like, wow, a light bulb moment. Like that is awesome. So I started doing that too. And you know, down to the four-year-old or whatever they they had to fold their own laundry and so that's kind of our system now too is that all they each have their own basket and I'll tell them when it's when it's ready and they they could take care of their own laundry 
that. So that helps out a lot too. Taking time to go so, so if everything's you have this system of things of how those three things are working, you're living in the home. So you have kids. And if, if it's like my house, it could be super clean. And within seconds, sometimes it could not look so clean, right? <laughs> People leave things here or whatever. So how do you, what is your thoughts on that? Yeah. So that one is a 10 minute cleanup is what I are like five or 10 minute cleanup is what I tell them. So, you know, yeah, things can go from good to bad really quickly and to just like set the timer and just involve anybody that's around and say, Hey, we're cleaning up for 10 minutes. And, and when the timer is set, it's like, everybody gets into, into motion, right? Yeah. It's, it's, it's really cool. And so, yeah, a lot of, a lot can happen in 10 minutes. A lot of things can get put, put, put away in 10 minutes. So that's kind of what I say is, yeah. 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 And I think, uh, so how is that for your kids? Are they pretty cooperative or is it sometimes some's not, not wanting to do it or do they all just, it's just something that's become routine. So they just all pitch in. Yeah, it's, it's kind of got that way. I mean, when we first started, I would, I would do it with them and just like, Hey, we've got the timer going, let's move. And, and we would all do it together and it, yeah, it worked good. And now, um, now I think we've done it enough times that if I say, Hey, it's time to clean up. It's yeah. It doesn't take long, especially when there's a few of them to do it together. Yeah. Yeah. That reminded me of a friend who they had a playroom. And so every night, you know, she didn't w worry about the toys being out throughout the day, but then at night she and the kids would clean up together. And mm -hmm. so I think with the parent involved, it, it helped, you know, and teach them because they were small, but also that it was a family activity. It was a group activity, right? They mm -hmm. weren't just having to go do it on their own. Yeah. That, that was help helpful. Yeah. And it also made me think of how like our houses aren't perfect, right? So <laughs> or we're not, they're not always like the Instagram or whatever that photo, photo mm -hmm. op type picture. So we're, we're there living in, is that something you, you don't worry about, you know, having it tidy all the time, but just. How... Yeah. I mean, I, I am a bit of a perfectionist, so it's like when things are too crazy, I like, yeah, let's, let's get, get this taken care of. So but yeah, no, it's, it's living. I mean, like the other thing too, is that if we have a lot of stuff, like to like a lot of things to take care of, then, then it's gonna, even when it is cleaned up, it is going to still feel a bit messy because there's not a home for everything. Right. So I, I like to tell them too, is to, you know, if it's too much to manage, you can get rid of some things so that it's easier to like the 10 minute cleanup will take care of most everything because there's not so many things, right? Yeah. I think that you mentioned two keys to me is that there needs to be a home for everything. So, and to simplify, <laughs> you don't, have so that that's important to me. It's like you can accumulate stuff really fast. Yes. Careful. So, and I know we have we're getting ready to move and it's, yeah, you realize you have a lot of stuff. So, yeah. So how do you uh, manage with kids even um, and taking that time apart from them attention wise to, to do your sewing? Like it's, it's different now because mine, my kids are all old enough to entertain themselves. So it's not, it's not too difficult to just set up my sewing and get something done yeah because they're they're very well able to yeah occupy themselves do they take part in your sewing sometimes too or is that just like more of that's a business or or when you sew for them or uh they'll they're usually they'll hang around a bit you know and and see what I'm doing and and things like that but yeah I guess that I have done it all their lives or whatever so it's nothing unusual Right. Yeah. Right. That's great. 
Well, these are some great helpful tips. So where can people find you to, to learn more or even look into your patterns if they're sewers? Yeah, so my website is ecreatestitches.com. Okay. And then um, I have a free pattern on there on the website that they can try out just to see what, yeah, what their patterns are all about. Awesome. So, That'll be great. Yeah. And do you have, and you have more tips on there or uh, for your keeping your house tidy type thing? Is that right? Yeah. There's also a, a little, um, a free workshop that goes through all those three like meal planning and okay. routine and laundry so they can also yeah get that and go through that it's just a simple little workshop that goes through all of that that'd be awesome yeah thank you so much cheryl for taking the time to share those things with us because man a mom's life can get hectic and to be able to simplify and have some order and things really is helpful 